Hi guys, I'm Alexander from Squish Gym and today we are going to review the Prime Fitness HLP Plate Loaded Rack. This rack is, is a piece of work, guys. Um, as you guys might know or might not know, Prime Fitness is a company based off of Philadelphia. They make American-made uh, fitness equipment. They source their steel from the States, so they probably wear that label around in their, in their products. They, for the most part, started big or becoming more known in the home gym community by selling out their ergonomic handles, which uh, we have some on display here in the rack. And recently, about one year and a half, two years ago, they released this rack, and it's been making waves uh, because of the peculiarities of its cable system, which I'll go into detail in a bit. So, as any good rack, the rack has space for barbell work, and it doubles down as a cable functional trainer. Um, it has a pulley system that permits it to have this adjustable pulley that you can take it all the way down and up, a topwards pulley that's fixed in plane, and a mechanism that basically cuts the weight down in half. So this upward pulley right here is directly connected towards the plate holder where you load up the weight to what you want to pull. And it's a one-to-one -one system of strength force ratio. That means that every pound that you load is one pound of force that you require to pull the weight. This pulley over here, since it's adjustable, has a second, another pulley in the system, is a two to one strain to force ratio. That means that every two pounds of, of weight that you load into the horn requires one force to pull. And all of this connects by mechanism at the bottom of adding a potential extra pulley to the system by means of pulling a pin which basically transforms this pulley into a four to one and transforms that pulley into a two to one. So that gives you a lot of versatility for, for cable work. Um, I'm sure that a lot of you guys have trained some of the smaller muscles like external rotators or posterior shoulder or um, some very uh, difficult positioning of bicep work where you will not be able to do a lot of weight. So having the normal pulley system at its two to one might not give you enough micro loading necessary to be able to progress that particular lift. The pin works out in that situation by adding that customization. Also by adding another pulley into the system, it makes the pull way more smoother. So it basically permits you to feel way more control when you take out the pin than when the pin is in by virtue of, of the physics of adding that pull. So, with that said, um, the pulley system, at least on the plate and the plate loaded rack, I, I do not know if this is the case on the selectorized uh, version, it can be a little bit grindy sometimes. And I have found out that with proper oiling, this problem goes away. So, um, previously, um, Garage Gym Reviews had gotten out a review where it mentioned they mentioned that they had this particular problem of choppiness on the pool. And I only agree to the point of whether it has received proper oiling or not. Because if it has, it, it, the pool is really smooth. But it, it has to be kind of like a periodic type of maintenance. I found out that every three to four months it's good to apply another coat of oil. So with those cable systems, uh, Prime Fitness, what they did to augment the rack was develop accessories to be able to perform seated pull downs, seated rows, and among another assortment of exercises. It's a big list, about 19 to 20 accessories that are attachable into the rack from the holes here or some of the holes down on the legs. And these seats that you guys see here, the row foot plate and the seated pull down seat are removable. So by pulling out the green pin and rotating it, you can pull it out and then work out with the cable all the way down and doing, for example, low cable chest flies or some other accessory where you do not need the seat. Um, consequently, these seats are compatible with rope monster racks in case you guys are wondering. Um, if you guys, for example, uh, want to interchange accessories or you have multiple racks available. So, 
part of those accessory setups uh, work in conjunction with the bench that they sell. Now this bench honestly is a piece of art. It's a really good bench. It, uh, we particularly got it with the bicep um, isolation accessory, which is our pads that you rest your arms against. And the bench in itself is easy enough to move and it has, it's very easy to adjust. So these benches are, are really nice for when maybe not so strong lifters are working in and out. Most commercial benches tend to be more on the heavy side. This is more on the lighter side of things. Now, when it comes to the actual barbell work, so the Jacobs are beautiful. The only problem with them is that they have no plastic. So the original, I, I believe they just uh, added a different version of Jacobs for when they sell their racks. But at least this version one Jacob is beautiful to behold, terrible to use. Um, it has no plastic. There's metal and metal grinding. And, and by I mean no plastic, there's absolutely no protection whatsoever towards the bottom part of the Jacob or the frontal part of the Jacob. So, um, Fancy looking, but in my opinion, useless. So one of the things you guys can do to remedy this is that this rack is fairly compatible with Monster Jacobs and Sorinex Jacobs. So you could just potentially get a sandwich Jacob and put it on the rack and it would take away the problems of the HDW of the, of the plastic. So um, when it comes to storage, the rack comes with multiple choices too. The rack comes with a back part of uh, cross members that permit you to store the accessories that you're not using, which is great. It, it just works into this theme that the rack has of using it as a multi work station where you can basically do everything. Um, the storage units are fairly comfortable to use. Uh, they're not really a problem to pull stuff in and out. At the top, you have a plethora of hooks to add a bunch of cable accessories and um, in, in general it works pretty well. Um, the one thing that I would say that does not work so well is the plate storage. The plate storage that they design is made for normal steel weight plates in mind. So you cannot fit 45s back to back in line because there's not enough space for them. So you might be able to do 45s then 25s then 45s then 5s and then 45s again. So depending on how much weight you're managing, or if you're using bumpers, the plate storage could be a problem. If you're using classic weight, it should suit your needs very well, um, since there's ample space to, to store quite a bit of plates. And so, um, big, biggest uh, thing here, one of the extras that you can add is the adjustable pull-up handles at the top that use the ROT8 handles um, and that swivel depending on where you produce the force and they're amazing they I really recommend this accessory if you guys like pull-ups it beats the straight bar that the rack comes from that the rack comes with um, and it, it, it really feels uh, really nice to be able to adjust the width or to be able to rotate depending on what you want to focus on on your arms when you're performing the pull-ups now the rack has band picks at the bottom if you want to add a little bit of accommodating resistance to your cable and it works fairly well. Uh, you can wrap around the band on the pegs and then finish off on the weight peg and as you pull it will give you that peculiar sensation that bands on, on cable equipment give. You have your base weight and then that constant pull from the band. Um, it, it's great, you can pull, play with the band pegs and use them for barbell work too as uh, there's pins holes on the front for you to put those pins if you wanted to put it on your barbell squats or whatever you wanted to do. And so the biggest complaint that I have about this rack um, and that this is something that was a design choice was the fact that they decided not to add holes on the side of the rack. So this is a wasted opportunity um, since you have, we have been able to add a lot of different accessories from different directions as opposed to just that one direction that the hole permits you to. If they had permitted the holes in the middle, you could have probably used uh, Bulgarian squat sponges that Rogue Fitness sells. Though Prime Fitness sells their own Bulgarian sponge, as you guys can imagine. They have pretty much every accessory. So that's kind of like the biggest drawback there because it doesn't permit as much custom and availability as you would have with a Monster Rack or with a Sorinex Rack or with a Rep Fitness Rack. And then um, 
and the other thing that would be a complaint in this is just the nature of, of having a two adjustable cable columns that are at the height of the barbell is that because they're close together it will not give you the same width of work that a multi-arm cable machine would give you and that's just what you get because of the size of it any other cable functional machine that has this distance between the two cables will have limitability in what you can do for width type cable movements so with that said the swivel does permit a humongous amount of distance uh, to rotate it's about 100 190 95 degrees so you could potentially work with cable stuff to the side of the rack it just doesn't permit you to go so wide for cable chest flies or to really accommodate certain angles that you might want to work for cable work and well that's pretty much it for the rack guys if you guys have any questions uh, please write in the comments below I'll try my hardest to answer as soon as I can and keep pumping it have a good one